Hello, Spuddies, and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid with Logan Stone. So, last episode was actually pretty good. It was a bit of a weird one, but it turned out to be amazing. We found loads of die-cast food trucks and things from our, from our little collection, which is amazing. We went and got a Land Rover, and, well, we attempted to get a trailer. It backfired a little bit. <laughs> but we got loads and loads of cool stuff, so really happy. Massive upgrade on the car front, so that's always a plus. I was actually going to display these trucks, and I didn't realise that they're not you can't display them normally. What you have to do is you craft them into display shelves, basically. But you have to have four in a row, like 13, 14, 15, 16, of that particular type, I guess. And then some screws and planks. So, annoyingly, I don't have a single set. So, I'm just going to have to store them in here for the time being. Um, I'm also going to store the model kits. Now, it looks like you need a scalpel. And I don't know where you get a scalpel. I'm presuming the pharmacy might have one. Um, in town or potentially um, the toy store might have one if if that's what's needed for them basically once again I'm kind of stuck on needing to go into town so at this point I'm thinking screw it that's just go into town in our Land Rover I'm gonna take a shotgun and I'm gonna see what happens basically right before I get into that though I think what I should really do is set up a nice library for myself because I've got the shelves from last episode I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll set this up and I'll put all the books in here. I'll kind of have this as my little collector's place. It's a bit of a dumping ground at the moment, but it will be nice eventually. There we go. We've now got a nice full bookshelf with all our stuff on it, which is just great to have, really. Okay, uh, so what's best then? Probably one of them, the J200. We've already got one. Take all the shotgun shells. We will attach this on our back. Can we get a weapon and put it onto our holster? That would be nice. Our belt, sorry. Maybe that one. Belt left. We will keep the lead pipe in our backpack just in case, but we'll uh, we'll take that as well. That'll be fine. Um, okay, so let's go to sleep, and in the morning we're going to head off and go into town. You know, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have the bat the uh, shotgun in our backpack, attach that to our back, and then I, if we need the shotgun, I'll just get it out, because it is quite heavy just to lug around constantly. I did um, cook up the animal meat, by the way, the uh, in the jar, just so it's sealed and all good. I need to get a bin. I've just been chucking all our tin cans on the floor out here, but, I mean, a bin would be helpful. So, we've got ourselves... Most of the tools we need to break stuff apart. The, the hammer is in there. We've got hand scythe. We've got the lead pipe, if necessary. Um, and we've also got the shotgun and loads of shells. So, I think I'm just going to use the shotgun to distract... Zombies, as and when we go. Um, do we have any water left in any of these? No, doesn't look like it. That's fine. Um, just because we might run out of... We do have the cup of cold cuppa, though. Let's drink the cold cuppa. Uh, do I take the trailer? Hook it up. Hopefully it doesn't freak out like it did last time. There we go. Seems all good. Lovely stuff. We are all good. Let us head on into town. I'm thinking we're going to take the back roads. Um, okay, trailer trailer reversing is not easy. You just want to reverse backwards. Okay, maybe I shouldn't take the trailer. <laughs> it's too complicated. Yeah, I think we're, we're going in to loot stuff, but we're probably not going to need a huge amount. It's not like we're going to be going backwards and forwards to the trailer a huge amount and this this boot has a huge amount of storage in it anyway so not overly worried come on right let's head off just the problem with how loud this engine is it's ridiculous it doesn't so much purr it roars <laughs> Let's have a quick look at our skills as we're going. Okay, carpentry's alright. Cooking's getting up. That's alright. Um, what else? Uh, mechanics I didn't get up in the end, but it's a shame. Um, oh, that's some blood splatter on the car. No, we're ruining the perfectly good car. Right, what's the temperature like outside? 23.8. That's not too bad. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the back roads, unlike last time where I go straight through the middle of town. Um, so I'll do what I did last episode and go this way. And then I think I'll, um, I'm not going to be able to take this, this, uh, Land Rover too far in. But what I might do is try and distract some zombies, lure them out 
Well, I don't know. Do I do I just use the shotgun in the center of town? Because that will just draw them all to me. Maybe I should have gone up that way and then used the shotgun up there. That was a better idea. Right. <laughs> We're going to go up there. and Because we lured the zombies that way last time. And we'll get out. And we will um, we'll just use the shotgun. So let's put all our shotgun shells in as we go. Equip that to our back. Doing all this while driving. Do not try and equip a, <laughs> a shotgun to your back while driving in real life. Because, uh, yeah, it, it might not end well. Right, so I'm thinking making a stand around here will do. Reverse a bit so that we're ready to just jump out. Yep, here we go. Right, so we'll go here. Get out. We'll unbox this. Okay. Equip this. Can we reload? Let's reload. Reloading would help. Let's get up fairly close to all these zombies. It's been a long time since I used guns. Okay, we're getting there. Oh dear, not, not as good. This is stressful. Okay, I think we've attracted quite a few of them. But how bad are you at shooting? God, come on. Really? You are horrendous at shots. I'm sorry, but you're just... You're not good. Uh, okay, two. Let's just equip that one. This might be a bit better. Maybe not. Okay, killed one. Right, I think I'm just going to get in the car now. Right, lure them all this way with a honking. There we go. Okay, we're fine. We're all fine. All fine. Let's go down this way. Right, and we'll loop around the back, and then hopefully... Ooh, there's a nice little ranger over there. Okay. Try and avoid the trees. We're going to loop down here. Loop round the side. And then hopefully the bookstore will be fairly clear. That's my hope. I should keep going. Um... Right, um, let's attach this to our back now, and pop that in our backpack, because we don't need the shotgun anymore, not for the time being, get rid of some of that weight. Okay, let's take some of these out. We'll leave them, we'll come back for the Land Rover in a bit. And my hope, I, I'm still praying, is that the, uh, that the uh, bookshop will be fairly deserted. I know it won't be, just from the fact that I, I just know it won't, basically. But it's, I think it's worth, worth hoping. Oh god, look at them all. Seriously? Oh, there's so many! Oh, come on. Okay, how many are following me? Lots. This is one way of doing it.
Let's lure them all this way. Come on. God, that was terrifying. Oh, run out of run out of ammo. It's fire firemen. They have like decent equipment. If I can actually kill them. God. Okay, racket. Reload. Reload, please. Oh, open them. There we go. Okay, I think we're alright. They've got to here. What happened? Oh, I think we... Hopping over the fence, we got scratched. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, our gloves broke. We'll make a little bit of distance between us and the zombies. Hop over here if we can. Lovely. I think we've distracted enough of them. Um, it's a shame about the scratch, but hopefully I can loot a nearby house. Or something and grab grab what I need. Uh, should we hide out in the school for a sec? Okay, we're fine. Um, anything I can use to repair my hand would be good. Okay, I think I'm just going to have to use like a, one of my hood, the hoodie I'm wearing or something. Sure, I can find another t-shirt on a zombie. Oh, I'm an idiot. I have the first aid kit somewhere. Oh, such an idiot. Let's have a quick sleep here. And hopefully we'll be safe. Okay, Attach this on back. We should be fine now. Let's sneak. Oh god, there's lots of zombies there. Um, sports t-shirt. T-shirt. I just want a normal t-shirt. T-shirt. Boom. There we go. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Okay, so just hop over the fence. Take these ones out. Okay, we're fine. Rip sheets. Come on, just bandage it up. Okay, we're all right. We're all right. Okay, how many are there? Three. Four if that one gets attracted, but that's fine. Let's um, that's actually try the, sa the scythe while we're here. Okay, I'm. It's, it's better than I thought it would be. They seem to cut their clothes, though, which um, isn't the best thing in the world, but... It's quicker than I thought. Oh, it's already broken. That's no good. What was the bloody point of that, then, if it breaks that easily? Right, that was, um, that was intense. That was really intense. I yeah, got some rounds. Worth it. That was a bit of a... Bit of an ordeal. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's rest up here. Okay, let's shift everything into what we're not using. That can just go on the floor. That was useless. Not going to use that again. Okay, now I am praying and hoping that we can finally get into the bookstore after all of that. And hopefully the toy store as well. It's looking promising so far. Only a couple of zombies. Still looking fairly promising. If we can make it across to there, and we can just attract a couple... 
is still hoping for the best. Is this the toy store? Oh god, there's one right there. That's that was slightly terrifying. Okay. We're in the toy store. There's a few in here. I'll take whatever that was. Train tracks by the look of it. Oh god, it looks like there's a there's a few coming in. Okay, time to go. We got scratched. Hopefully we're alright. Uh, I think it's a fairly low chance that we'll get infected from a scratch, but it was on the bloody neck. Oh, that was careless of me. Okay, there's a few zombies around here, but in terms of Enigma books, we're all right, I think. Head on in. There's a. F it looks like there's at least a couple in here. Okay, just want the generator. If we can find the generator one while we're how do you use generators? Got it. We actually got it. Okay, electricity volume one. The other thing I needed. Uh, anything else? No, I'm not going to risk it. Let's go. That, that's enough. We literally got what we came for. We got scratched. Hopefully we're fine. And we got, by the look of it, model railroad train tracks. We actually got some of what we came for. Okay, not the best outcome, but we uh, we did it. We did get scratched. I'm hoping we're fine. Really hoping we're fine. All right, let's unpack. Unpack the first aid kit. Um, let's equip primary. What do we have? Okay, right. Let's just get in the car. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, that was that was stupid. Oh god, we're at critical damage. Right, let's just let's just go home. That was um That was interesting. We got what we came for. Hopefully we don't get infected and die. That's um that's all I can say. I got cocky. I think the chance of infection on like a scratch is like three percent, so we should be fine. Like I think. I'm hope. Oh god, Logan, that was, um... That was terrifying. Don't do that again. Everything's fine. Don't need to worry. Ugh, that's, um... Eat something quickly. Get your strength up. Bourbon. Bourbon will help. Bourbon. Whatever it's called. Can't read. Right. Wait. Ugh, did we get away with it? Right, let's, um, make sure we're near the medical bag. Uh, disinfect alcohol wipes. I don't know if this helps. Right. Drink some red wine. You're all good. Stop being anxious. You're fine. Honestly, guys, I think we got away with it. We haven't had a Moodle that says we're anxious or we're sick yet. But I will wait another day just to double check. But, but yeah, it was, it was stupid of me. It was a risk. And... It paid off with a model rain, some tracks. What do we actually need to craft this thing? Oh, sweet Jesus. We need three of them. The train set. We've got the hobby painting kit. We need terrain, the structure. We've got blueprint torch, electrical wires. We need a workbench. Ah, okay. Well, we're a ways off that. But we got, we got what we needed. How to use generators. And we got electricity, volume one. That was intense. <laughs> Not going to lie. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it there, guys, because I, I need to see if Rogan's actually going to survive the next couple of nights. And what better way than reading Electricity Volume 1 and getting up to scratch with that. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you've liked what we've seen, please leave a like and subscribe. Oh, it's been a bit intense and I'm kind of kicking myself for letting Logan get scratched. But 
I'm hoping he's fine. He seems all right. Normally, I think by now I'd start getting queasy. But he seems fine. So I'm... Touch wood. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to be fine. I think I'll do lots of more farming, lots more foraging next episode, and some trapping, because I haven't done any of that, really. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.